This is Omega, and I'm back for another unboxing. This is for Sugar Muses, Midnight Muses. Here comes Freddy. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, I want to apologize for last box. I said that it was May when it was, it's actually April, and uh, I just got done buying a plane ticket for California for May. So I guess that was still on my mind. And I was thinking Beltane, and the box was for Beltane, and that's May 1st. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So here we go. Sugar Muses, Midnight Muses. Yeah, it's in purple. Hey, Freddy. Oh, this is beautiful. This is on the top. So I will get my glasses. Hey, Freddie. And the subject is Midnight Angels. And we match. I'm wearing purple. And this is purple, sort of. We sort of match. And my Oracle card. What does it say? And I think it says Freddie. Ooh. This is the tarot deck here. Or is it here? Doesn't say anything on it, does it? There's nothing on it. Huh. That's weird. Or maybe this page of cups, maybe? Because he's holding a cup. I don't know. April 2021. I want to say happy birthday to those born under the signs of Aries and Taurus. And this says, as spring approaches, we look toward the next seasonal celebration of Beltane in the Northern Hemisphere. Beltane is the cross quarter day that marks the midpoint in spring. This Sabbath is associated with May Day, the first day in May and Beltane Eve, which is celebrated on April 30th through May 1st from sunset to sunset. The word Beltane roughly translates as bright fire. And as much as one of the most important rituals, which survives to this day, is lighting the Beltane bonfire. May bushes, hawthorn, hey, don't bite me, are decorated with ribbons laced with wishes and intentions and then set loose to blow in fire wind, in the fire wind. Wait, yes. Casting the wishes out into the universe and offering them to the Fae. The May Day Queen is also known as the maiden aspect of the triple goddess and is the goddess of spring, flower bride, queen of the fairies, and lady of the flowers. The May Day Queen is a symbol of the stillness of nature around which everything revolves. She stands for strength and the potential for growth. Many of us think about Samhain as the perfect time for spirit communication, but Beltane is also a very powerful time. Both, both lie on direct opposite sides of the wheel of the year. Um, the ALC, often reserved to as the spirits or fairies, are thought to be especially active at Beltane. Because the veil is thin, you can more easily communicate with your spiritual guides, angels, and spirits. Okay. Uh, one interesting fact. Um, in per the Persian um, culture, there is a holiday called Norus. And it's their new year. It's kind of like, it's their new year, what we think of Easter, um, not so much in the meaning of Easter, but just some of the things like the, the Easter eggs and things like that. And um, yeah, New Year and Thanksgiving, everything wrapped up in a one. And it's interesting because on Norus, you get eggs, which symbolizes fertility. And grass, orchids is another um, symbol. And what I just talked about in this fire, they light a bonfire and jump through the fire and make a wish. So very similar and um, Easter, of course, with the eggs and, and all of that. 
And it's interesting because Norus predates um, Easter approximately 3,000 years. So, you know, makes you wonder how these things started or they're related. I think a lot of the um, celebrations, rituals, they're a lot, they're just interconnected. So, anyways, we get started here. And I showed you this already. Skull cap. next. Here's the card. And we have the incense here. Mm, let me see. What is, the, what is the incense? Well, you know what? I'll just go through everything and then I'll, I'll run through what it is. Citrus chamomile organic tea which has chamomile, orange peel, hibiscus, flower, natural and artificial flavoring, caffeine free. A lot of purple. Let's see what's in here. The tumbled stone. And it's got the triple moon here. Very nice. Uh, this looks like the trio of casting salts, incense blend, and usually a, an offering. We'll see it's in here. Okay, skull cap, which is the I guess the herb that um, featured chicory root and casting salt. And here is the beeswax candle in white. And is this the oil? This must be the oil. What's the weather like in your area? Out here, at least it's not snowing. Ooh, dark angel ritual oil. It's not snowing, but it, we've had some cold days in the low 40s. There we go. And, ooh, is this a tray? Good, something to put things on. Oh, talking board. Look at it, like a Ouija board. Isn't that cute? Yes, no, use with caution. So it has talking board, the alphabet, numbers, hello, goodbye, yes and no. And this is the back of it. And this is ceramic, feels like, feels and sounds like ceramic. And this is the, the tea bag for the tea. And a black candle. So you probably put them on opposite sides of each other. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, let's go through it. <clears throat> let's see. Frankincense incense stick. This is great because frankincense is like an all-purpose incense. You can use it for almost anything. And I love it. How much how many do you get? I think it's eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, very generous. Incense and dark ritual oil. Shake before use. And powerful means of dedicating yourself and or magical components with energies correspondent to your intent. And it's crafted with essential oils of patchouli, sage, thyme, and cedarwood. And have a very grounding and protective properties. Light, fruity, floral top notes are a nod to the air el elementals. I suggest using it within six months. 
Um, yes, that makes sense that it would have an air. Um, no, we're fire. Aries is fire and earth. So fire for Aries and earth for Taurus. And let's see, Skullcap Botanical Art Print. That was this here. Skull cap. And extraordinary work by Carrie at style24.com.au. Place on your altar or in your book of shadows for future reference. And talisman stone in the purple bag, which is this. You may wish to place it on your altar tray along with any crystal and herbs you have chosen to use in your ritual. After you have completed your spell ritual work, you may keep the stone on your altar or in your pocket. The stone captures, excuse me, ah, mm, captures the essence of your ritual and can act as a talisman if you wish. You know, I've been yawning a lot lately and I think it's the thyroid thing. It's not under control yet. Still trying, so excuse me for yawning. I don't mean to. Um, let's see, skull cap. Is it? I thought I saw it here. Future botanical of the month is skull cap in the glass vial. Here. And magical uses, trance, psychic workings, or oracular, oracular dreams, fidelity, money drawing, hand fasting, and fertility. Gender feminine, planet, Saturn, element, water. It may be warm, burned as an incense, or used as an oil. Used in bath, bath magic to clear the aura of tensions and stress. Used in sleep pillows for relaxation and peace. If pregnant or nursing, please consult with your physician before using. Do not consume. For more info, see the botanical art print. So in this art print, just like many of them, there's I mean, it's really small writing, but it's, um, it has a lot of information in it. All right. Now what's next? The Ouija altar dish, which is this. It's made out of ceramic, as it, I thought it was, but it says so here. It's not yet available here in the U.S., so I'm excited to be able to include it in this month's box. It was inspired by the classic talking board and is the perfect size to charge small altar tools, magical jewelry, or crystals. Add some salt quartz crystal to the tray and then place the item you wish to cleanse and charge on top. Very nice. Chicory root. This is chicory. Magical obstacles, grounding and obtaining favors, gender masculine, planet sun, element air. This is one of my favorite roots to work with. It is a powerful and can get the job done quickly. Chicory root can be added to charm bags and carried with you to remove obstacles that may arise. It can also be added to incense blends for the same purpose. If you anoint your body with an infusion, the root infused into organic almond oil, it is said that you will obtain favors from important people. Other, other magical properties include divination, good luck, opening of locks, curse remo removal, and in grounding rituals. Also used as an incense to purify items of divination, tarot, oops, tarot, etc. Also used in spells to speed up or slow down time during path walking, but be careful with time gap on the two worlds to line up together. This may help the time distortion problem when the other world is strongly different from ours time-wise because time is fluid. 
I use this herb to ring the base of my candles during ritual work. Hmm. Interesting. Um, the black altar candle here, often associated with protection, uncrossing, and can be used to ward off any negative vibes that may be thrown your way. You may wish to place the candles on either side of the altar tray. Fire scrying is a form of div divination, unique way to gain knowledge from the universe. After lighting the candles, use a heat proof surface or holder. Begin by sitting comfortably and look at the dan dancing flames on a slightly unfocused gaze. Smoke can be used to interpret what you are seeing. Some images may reveal themselves as the empty space between the flames. Yes, Freddie. Not just the flames themselves. Pay attention to what ideas and thoughts come to you. Reflect on the images and messages they may have given you. And the white altar candle. Where is it? Right here. Set representing the goddess or god or feminine or masculine in nature used in most traditional pagan rituals where candles work especially well for purifying peace, attracting and manifesting spells and intentions. And the Oracle card, which mine looks like, I guess it's Page of Cups. I mean, represents that maybe. Search for Dark Angels Tarot by Luca Russo on sugarmuses.com. For more information on this deck, take a moment to reflect on the meaning of this card. In Dark Angel Art Print by Christy. And that is here. Dark Angel. Yes, butterfly. I love butterflies. Very nice. Digital collage art was created exclusively for this month's Midnight Muses box. Two ravens quietly guard an intricacy of carved gothic scrying mirror. The image reflected on the mirror surface is that of a dark fairy or in a midnight angel. Interesting. Offering guidance and protection to the one looking into the mirror. Botanical offerings of black roses and skullcap leaves surround the base and the butterfly makes an appearance to remind us of the power of transformation. The gift that spring offers us, place this on your altar to add to your book of shadows or add to your book of shadows for future reference. Very nice. So pleased, very pleased with this month's box. So I'll run through it. Your tarot card from the tarot deck here. This is mine. Sorry for the glare. The art prints. The Fairy or Dark Angel. The Skull Cap, which is the herb of the month. Herb or root. Herb is an herb. The Tea. The Oil. And the incense, frankincense, casting salts, skull cap, and chicory root. This oh, this is the root. I love these little bottles; they're so cute. Black and white candle, and the triple goddess moon talisman here, and the velvet purple bag. Very nice. And I think, oh, <laughs> of course, cannot forget this. This little tray here. Oh, I love it. So that is this month's April box for Midnight Muses. And I hope you are doing well. And I will see you soon. Bye.